Hello everyone, this is Julia with Craft with Julie and today I want to share a little project preview with you for what we're going to be creating in July. Um, July 3rd is a big day in Stampin' Up! Land. Um, that day there are online exclusives that will launch. There are also Close to My Heart, the last of Close to My Heart's products will be available including the Summer Gnome and we start bonus days. I'm new to Stampin' Up! so I didn't know bonus days was a thing. So if you spend $50, you will get a $5 coupon, um, a coupon code in your email to use in August. And if you spend $100, you'll get $10. So every $50 you spend, you get $5 back to spend in August. So a lot of fun things going on, but I wanted to quickly share with you what we're gonna be creating. This project guide is free to all of my newsletter people. If you um, have not joined my newsletter list, there will be a link in the description where you can do that. You should be receiving this in your inbox. It has all the cutting dimensions and photos of the projects that we're going to be doing all month long. So we are going to be using one of those online exclusives um, called Iconic Celebrations. Um, it is a suite where you can purchase them individually. And in that suite, you will get six by six papers. This is not all of them. These are just my leftovers. So you can see how much you get. There's so many fun different patterns and you can use them for all kinds of different holidays. We're focusing more on Christmas for July. So Christmas in July. And here is the new ribbon. Look how cute that is, a little frayed on the edge. And also these little dots. They are called pecan, pecan pie and clear, no, yes, pecan pie and clear ribbon adhesive dots. So there's actually a little squiggle in there. So cute. And then the stamp set is this one right here. And there's die cuts that go with it. So you could get either just the stamp set and, or you can get the stamp set and die cuts. Now this magnetic sheet does not come with the stamp set. It's something I've added and I really love. I'll put a link below to um, the one that I purchased, but I really love having them just right there in my stamp set. So those are the products we're going to be using for July. Again, they come in a bundle or um, you can get them individually. So I will also put a list of all the different supplies in this description of the video. There's are, there are some um, cardstock colors you'll need, Cajun craze, pecan pie, Misty Moonlight and Mossy Meadow. So there's a couple other things you'll need to add, but this is going to be our first layout that we're going to be creating on July 11th, right here on my YouTube channel. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we will have all the cutting, or hopefully you'll have the cutting done and we can just quickly put this together. These are die cuts and the stamps and the little gems. The title is one that I cut on my Cricut, so you can definitely change up the title to what works best for you. And then the next project we're going to do on the 18th, let me scooch this out of the way, are some cards. So again, Christmas in July theme, but you can change them up for whatever holiday. You can definitely use the cutting guide for the different patterns. We're going to be creating these five cards using the stamp set, the papers, the die cuts, and um, the ribbon and all the good things. So those will be on the 18th. And then the last project we're going to be creating is this one right here, is this layout, more traditional Christmas themed. And this will be on the 25th. And all these videos will be on my YouTube channel, um, The Craft with Julie. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And um, again, if you are on my newsletter list, you should have received the cutting guide. So you'll just wanna cut your papers ahead of time. Um, if you would like the cutting guide, you just need to join my mailing list and I will send it right out to you. And um, if you have any questions on any of the projects, let me know. And the last thing I wanna just mention real quick is our July project packs. This is something I do every month. If you place an order of $50 or more, I send you this project pack. So not only will you get 
these three cards to create, you'll be getting $5 from Stampin' Up! that you can use next month just for simply placing a $50 order. So lots of fun things going on this month. You'll not want to miss any of it, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you soon.